Also tonight, experts say we should expect major rulings soon that could decide on how soon the case will go to trial and where it will be tried. So we're also getting a better idea just how long that trial could actually take place. 11 Alive, John Sherrick is looking into the possibilities. At this hearing Wednesday afternoon, Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee deciding quickly that trial can begin quickly on October 23rd for at least two of the defendants accused along with former President Donald Trump of trying to overturn Trump's defeat in 2020. The two, Kenneth Chesbro and Sidney Powell, asked to go on trial as soon as possible, so the judge said okay. But the DA, Fonnie Willis, still wants to try those two and all of the other 17 defendants together. She doesn't want to split them up. Atlanta attorney B.J. Bernstein. So the question is, is it going to be just the two defendants who have asked for a speedy trial, or is it just going to be everybody? And Everybody who is a defendant in this case, go ahead and have to go to trial all together um, in a very short period of time for such a large case. Judge McAfee hasn't decided yet. Uh, it sounds like the state is still sticking to the position that all these defendants should remain. I'm willing to hear that. I, I remain very skeptical. He said he'll need to decide soon. And down the street in federal court, a judge there is deciding whether to allow one of the defendants, Trump's former chief of staff, Mark Meadows, to be tried in federal court as Meadows wants instead of in Fulton Superior Court. And at least four more of the 19 defendants also want to be tried in federal court instead. Nothing settled, so it's a little murky tonight. It is possible that everyone will know by the end of the month if Trump and the other 18 defendants will be tried together or in groups, possibly some in federal court and others here. Fulton County prosecutors now estimate it may take them at least four months to try their case. That's in addition to jury selection and in addition to any time that the defense attorneys may need at trial. From Fulton County Superior Court in downtown Atlanta, John Shearick, 11 Alive News.